is a trampoline which is sunk into the ground mm. so that it, the actual surface for jumping up and down is on the ground level. Oh, well, and, uh, oh, they've got one up there. Mm. Have they? Yeah. And uh, okay. he said they're very successful. Yeah, they quite enjoy them. <laughs> well, they can't hurt themselves, but they can't. Where is that? Falling. 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 Anyway, just something for you to think about mm -hmm. uh, on this subject. Um, well, why don't we have some form of um, working party that can take this forward? Because to me, um, uh, you can either bite this off in small chunks each year and try to get a replacement piece of kit or alternatively make it part of a much larger um, mm. um, project. Um, we've got nothing for teenagers no. on that yeah. play area mm. at all. I think if we had a rep down, an experienced yes, rep, yeah. they would see it in a different mm. way from us where I think we're too near to it, aren't we, mm. in a sense. Yeah. They might give us they? some different yeah. ideas, mm. I don't know. Well, they're dealing with it all the time, yeah. aren't they? Mm -hmm. Well, I would, um, why don't we get the GB sports yeah. guy down? Exactly. He's yeah. on our doorstep, he knows us, and yeah. he's got access to all the kit, mm. um, right. and get a report from him mm. as to what we should be doing or what we should be aiming for. Mm. But I do think that if you're going to, it will be an expensive job. Oh, yeah, yeah, it will be. Very expensive. When you think of that, Fino Watson, we yeah. put him with 6,000 oh, yeah. quid. Mm. Yeah. You forget, you know, um, and it's going to co cost so a lot. It's just a different way of looking at that, I think, mm. the problem, if we can consider it a problem. Well, can we, could, could, would you like to um, um, liaise with Gary at GB Sports? Mm. Um, what, me? Brian? Yeah. yeah. Colin Lewis, the guy's name. Oh, is it Colin oh, Lewis? Colin Lewis is the one. You did not that, wasn't you? you? Then you might do something different. Gary. Yeah. Well, I, I think the man is coming over to do an inspection and try yeah. it. Well, I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll have the phone number from you later, shall I? Okay, yeah. I'll be pleased to come with you. Yeah. Uh, okay. right. I'll, 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 I'll give it to you now, Brian, just right. so you've got it. 01934 628 620. Gary Barber is the managing director, according to this, mm -hmm. so it would pay you probably to get him. Right. Thank and I'll, I'll come with you and John okay. and Peter, will right. you come? No, I really got too much. I'll go with you anyway. No, I'll do it. So, well, God, Anybody you. else come with us, please? I'm on a bus load. <laughs> you can drive the bus if you like, see, Peter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Well done. Okay. You can join us then. If you don't know well, all right. Okay, thank you, Bob. Thanks very much. Well done, that's good. Um, do you want to deal with the car park and then you can okay. forget 12B? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I just think that it, the fence there, though, is a bit of an eyesore. It's serving no purpose whatsoever. And it were taken down, it would give them all much more space, as you can see from this. And the car park could be replanned. We might get a couple more car spaces in there. And also, we talked about setting the, head, the fence back, didn't we? A bit. I did. Uh, so you could possibly get three more cars in there. Right? Uh, have you got a, a diagram to show I us did, how you... I drew it last, not, two, two, not last time, but um, no, it wasn't here, but two, two meetings ago I gave you um, a couple of your sheets of just a yeah. drawing thing, you remember? Yeah. Sketch well, I th um, let, let, we've probably moved on from there, yeah. so let, let's have it again for the next meeting, Brian. Right. Uh, measure it out, draw it out, so we can, um, mm. if we need to, we can go out before yeah. the meeting and have a look at what your proposals are, then we know what we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Do you know the fence around that area? Is it ours? Did somebody tell me it was Sedgemore's fence? Around the where they where they recycling the bins, the bins. Bins. yes. Yeah. So uh, could we just take it out? Would it matter? Yeah. Yeah. Historically, it was I mean, it was put up in a sedgemore because the parish council asked them to do it. Oh we yeah. Had a, when the bins originally went in there, there was a problem where people used to access them from the car park. Mm -hmm. One of the.
people who lived not a billion miles away from the village green didn't like them being accessed, so they parked their Range Rover in front of them so that no one could get access to the bins. Right. And that's why the fence was then put up there and it was accessed from the other side. To so make it wouldn't it matter if it was just taken down? No. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, once we get the plan, we can see the, the layout. The only thing I would say is when, when, the, when the fence was put there, it was specifically put there to not lose any parking spaces as what was there originally because it made them shorter, but it didn't actually reduce the number. So right, yeah. it would be interesting to see how, by taking it away, we end up with more space. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 we can work that I, out. Yeah, I can't plan. quite see it at well, the moment. I, I, I did draw it out, as I said, and um, I think we could get a yeah. more in, but if, possibly. Yeah, if you give it to us at the start, before we start the next meeting, uh, Brian, then we can go out and have a look at it, and then we know what, know what we're talking about. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so that's done 12E, and we're on now E, a 9E, Flood Mitigation Group. Any, any news? Yeah, nothing, nothing to report, really. Okay. Um, I really don't know how we're going to be affected by the new train that's been put in, Colbert. So it will still be required should there be a, a flood so anywhere else in the yeah. village. Mm. Okay. Um, Paris surgery, police matters. Uh, well, we had a Paris surgery today, uh, <laughs> which, which came along. We had two, two, two visitors. One was a Mr. Carlin, who came. It was this Carlin, the gentleman came. Um, obviously, a little bit concerned about the planning application that um, we thought it was the one he was talking about. It was the one we supported last month. Um, but in fact, it is not about that. It was about another structure that's being built behind 44 Brent Street, uh, which he wonders whether it's, it's permitted development or whether they've got some other form of permission. Um, what we've agreed is that I'll, I'll, I'll contact Sergeant Moore and ask them whether they have any problems with it and did they want to visit it. That's in the field, is it? Um, no, it's actually on the, it's on the site. It's actually on the site itself. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, I mean, we can't do anything about it, apart from let Sedgemore know that there is a concern, and then if they want to investigate it under the enforcement uh, matters, they can deal, deal with it. At least they'll come back to us and tell us then, you know. <coughs> okay. okay. Uh, um, G? Yeah, we've done. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. G. Um, nothing really to report, other than just to let you know that um, I am um, I'm no longer living in Nash Road in Bermondsey. Oh, um, the you can check that. The, <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> property evicted. Um, <laughs> as you, Don't check the property. It's a little bit for We uh, yeah, um, we've been there for about fifteen months. Um, we were hoping to have found something during that time. We haven't done so, um, and because of the cost involved in maintaining that property there as a rental property. Um, and because the owners decided in their wisdom to put the cost of rental up, um, we decided to relinquish it. So, at, for the time being, based in Cornwall, um, but um, since we've only been in Nash Road for about 31 days over the last 300 days, nothing really changes, actually. Yeah. And it just means that when I come up for the one or maybe two meetings, I'm just using using a premier premier in at my cost, so you know, cost of the council. Um, so um, it could well be in the next couple of years. You know, we don't find anything, and I might decide to retire or whatever. But for the moment, um, you know, nothing changes. It's just that I'm not just around the corner. So, um, but then I don't come to the village very much anyway. Yeah. So, really um, picking up that point. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, as regards communicating with Owen, we did agree when we set the precept that part of the um, uh, package or suggestions going forward was that w Owen would have a mobile number which was dedicated to the parish council. So we always knew how to get hold of Owen because when you ring him up, you weren't sure whether he was on his mobile in Bermont Sea or whether it was down in Cornwall, and you had to decide. So what we decided was that we'd have one mobile number and that we would finance a mobile phone. Um, I would like to suggest that we now, given the fact that Owen is going to be based in Cornwall, that we move ahead with that proposal of getting a cheap well, yeah, mobile phone. Yeah, I mean, it'd be a cheap, cheap contract. I mean, basically, it doesn't preclude anybody, and in fact, very pleased to hear from anybody on the landline. It doesn't make no difference to me at all. 
but you've got a literature and a mobile phone you know is, is um, you've, you've got the call in, well, make sure you've all got the call my number anyway, mm -hmm. and that's my office, is, is, I've got my office there as well, so, um, you know, it's perfectly okay, you know, to ring me in with that, I mean, Bob, John does, um, Bob does, Colin does, so, you know, it's quite, quite, uh, quite okay, but um, it just, as you say, it's quite good, the mobile, just having a single number, probably helps in terms of the public published number, probably. Um, but I'll also publish the landline number as well. Incidentally, all the postage, all the post has been going to Cornwall anyway for the last six or nine months. So there's no change there. Um, there's a couple of items still from Sedgemoor that probably still need to be notified, but apart from that, everything goes to our Cornish uh, address anyway. So. So really, there's no change. It's just that I thought you ought to be aware of it, just so that you you knew what was happening. Um, and uh, so, is there any questions or any? Uh, a, a, a proposal that we purchase. Can I ask how much it's going to cost again, sir? What to, for the council? You mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's um, basically a contract about ten. It works out about ten pounds a month for right. a cheap, you know, cheap contract. That's about all we need. Hmm? About. About. Ten pounds, roughly. Ten fifty, ten fifty, ten seven. Yeah, they vary almost on a daily basis. So you. When we're asked to vote on that, so where do we pay? Well, I would say up to. I would, I would say if you say up, up to maximum twelve. Thank you. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, but we should be able to get for less than that, and 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 that would include a number of minutes, which will be included in the um, probably five hundred minutes or whatever. So is the phone um, free with that? Uh, yes, normally. So that be enough for what you need? It'll be a cheap phone. I mean, it would just be a basic phone that, that makes phone calls, nothing else. Yeah. It doesn't boil the kettle or make eggs or anything else. <laughs> just, oh. I'm happy to propose that because I think also, by the sounds of it, if you're phoning out on that number as well as part of the contract, then there'll be a reduction in the phone call cost that we're, having, we're, we're paying out. It'll right? be less because at the yeah. moment, you see, you're yeah. paying under yeah. the old scheme um, on my quarterly expenses, mm. uh, is about £37 a quarter. Of the original <coughs> calls, well, that that will go. Yeah. Um, so you so. you probably actually end up being no worse off. In fact, maybe a slightly better off, better. Um, <laughs> including the calls. Yeah, Bob has proposed that we buy the mobile yeah. from our seconder. Well, yeah. Peter, all those in favour? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks very much. That's okay. good. Um, correspondence. Correspondence. Well, I put in the folder over there. There's a there's a, a copy of all the emails. Now, as you know, most of the correspondence is now coming by email. We're getting very, very limited numbers of correspondence items through the letterbox these days. Um, I think that's a policy decision on the part of most organisations. Um, so there's a, there's a copy, I've got hard copies of all the emails now, so everybody says, well, I actually haven't seen it. I mean, Malcolm, you might want to have a look through them particularly. Um, <coughs> so I'm keeping a, a, a file now with everything that goes in or out, basically, of, of the parish council. Um, and it's also useful to have a hard copy because I'm always concerned that on here, it's all very nice to have everything on here, of course, and we do back it up every week, but it's nice to have hard copies of things sometimes if you want to refer back to. So that's in the file over there, and I'll bring that along to each meeting so you've got a copy of all the emails that, that have been sent. I say, Malcolm, <coughs> if you want to take those, email, take, take those out of the file there, you're quite welcome to, and I'll just copy another set for, for the file, if that helps. Thank you. Uh, 11, finance. Well, there's not a uh, great deal on the finance this month, actually. We've got statutory payments just on the uh, uh, GB Sports, salary and tax um, payments. Um, nothing for Jason this month. Um, not normally for March either, actually. So, um, and then we've just got one additional item, which is £72 for the removal and change of sighting of the dog bin. Uh, which actually, funny enough, they, they sent me a, a, a note the other day um, saying that it hadn't been paid. I've never had the invoice actually. I was waiting for it, never had it. And they sent me a, one of these sort of red letter, you know, red, red demands, you know, saying mm -hmm. we, we might have instead of legal action uh, to get payment, which I thought was interesting, John said you more. Um, but anyway, uh, there it is. It's, it's ready for payment, and uh, we'll get ourselves out of uh, hot water. Thank you. Um, do you want to update us on the amended community transport? Yeah, they, they've had a grant, we've had a grant request. Um, Can we have a vote on whether we're paying? Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry. Yeah, I beg your pardon. Yeah, please do. Peter, yeah. I propose that we pay 
Thank you. Seconder? Bob, all yeah. those in favour? Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Sorry, thanks Mr. for the public. Yeah. Um, the amended community council sent me uh, an email the other day saying they would like to request a grant from us for the use of the bus services that they provide. Um, but actually, I haven't received it yet. They said they were going to send one, but they haven't sent it. So I'm still waiting for that. So when I did the agenda, I thought I assumed I'd have it by now. I haven't got it. So I'll have to pass that on to next month. Um, Owen, oh, did, did you send, the, there were four responses, yes. did yes, you they, send those yeah, in? They were sent you. to the Thank you. community transport at Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then the only other thing on finance is the updating arrangements for the COVID payments. Obviously we've had a bit of dialogue going on between Peter Strutt and, and the lady at some of the county council. The long and short of it is now that the drainage board are going to invoice us for the, the work. Uh, and then we'll simply have to apply to Wessex Water and to Sunday right. County Council for the grants that they've already agreed to pay us. My, my slight concern initially was that what they were doing is giving us the bill, we pay it to them, and then, which we wouldn't have been able to do. And then obviously, but no, that isn't the case. We, we just send off the invoices that we get from, because we are the people who are appointing them to do the work, not the county. So we're getting the grant from the county, we're getting the grant from Wessex Water, but we're actually the coordinating the actual work. So um, I'm just hoping that it comes within a, a financial year frame. Because yes, the problem is it, it could get split when I'm careful between two two financial years. So I'm hoping next week we should receive something from okay. Peter Strutt. Um, and we can apply straight away. Some of the county council told me that they'll pay it relatively quickly. I mean they'll get it off to us as soon as we send them an invoice. And the same with yeah. Wessex. So thank you. Any any questions of Owen or anybody on that work? I mean, it's progressed really well. Um, they're in the death throes mm -hmm. of it now, mm -hmm. uh, connecting to the connections that they've got in the field, in Francis James mm -hmm. Field. Um, I mean, it's gone really well. <clears throat> I think probably when the job's done, we should um, congratulate the contractor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Done really well. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, on that. I and I have spoken to you about this before. I think it struck as being incredibly helpful. He wrote off for me, and I think he needs a letter. And um, I just downloaded the details of Lewis Engineering so we can address the letter. And probably wouldn't have a letter from a local councillor saying thank you very much. And I think it would be quite nice if we did. Mm. But there are the contact addresses. Okay. Well, can I just ask one question to do with the, the fence? Because obviously at the moment they've taken out a couple of sections of the plastic bit yeah. and there's a bit of metal in there. Are they still going to do the yeah. replacement? Mm. They, they said, we said we'd give them our contribution on the basis that yeah. they replaced yeah. the mm. boundary fencing. Yeah. Okay. So before so we move off site, we need to check that. Check yeah. that yeah. that's been done. They said, well, we've done, now I spoke to Peter Strutt and they said, well, we've done a bit of work. They said that about three weeks ago. So um, mm. it needs, well, you can keep an eye from what yes. Okay. Will that be done by the Brew drainage or by Lewis? I would think Lewis would do it. I that. think Lewis would do it. Yeah. Oh, I would think so, but perhaps we could make a request when you speak mm -hmm. to Peter. But we won't send these letters until so the job's been yeah. yeah. No, no, no. So, yeah. Yeah. I'll start drafting yeah. the letter now, yeah. so we've, we've got it ready. You know, I think we've got it ready. Before I send the letter off, I'll obviously email it to you to make sure you have the letter. So, okay. estimated completion date? Um, well, I reckon it's. Probably a week's time. You should see. Yeah. 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 They're really. I mean, they've been very efficient. Yeah. They're tarmac. they tarmac yeah. mainly. The whole part, jolly nearly the whole of the road in Brent Street. Yeah. It's just that where it turns right into uh, into Bodies Lane, that area where they're having to dig by hand underneath all the other services. Okay. Thank you. Um, Twelve. A confirmation of our speaker. Simon's come back and, and confirmed that he's happy to, uh, to to give a talk. He was he was concerned about the amount of time we want him to talk. I said, well, to be honest with you, you know, normally what what speakers normally do is do sort of you know twenty minutes, half an hour, or whatever, and then ask questions, and that that seems to be the best format. I said, but probably play it by ear is the best thing. You see what happens. You see what response you get. With. <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's definitely coming. Yeah, he's bringing all his own equipment. He's bringing his own projector, his screen, and everything. So, you know, he's self-contained. Um, just by way of adding to that, Bob and I are going to uh, a meeting that was called at East Brent on Saturday morning, where they're going to outline the 
how the three parishes have come together and how they're going to work, and also uh, outline probably what the future of St Michael's Church is in Brentnell. And I think that's going to be, uh, once we know it, then we get something in the BKN and we can advertise it ready for our AGM in April so that at least we get a good attendance again if we can. Because I think questions are going to be asked. It might well be a case of use it or lose it. We don't really know. But um, um, it, we're looking for more land. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a bit of a dead site. Or dead site. <laughs> <laughs> dead site. <laughs> dead site. <laughs> dead <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, okay, so we'll we'll report back though when when we've been there. Uh, Sid, I think um, Richard has got the new radar and it's up on a new site which I put up with him. So I think um, he's up and running once again. It's working. Well. Yeah, it is working. Yeah, it is. Does he know what it will slow down? Get the data now this time. I've no idea, I haven't spoken to him. That was Bluetooth, wasn't it? Yeah. About yeah. Whether well, they can download this information, I don't know. But my guess is yes, because that's why he's been making such a fuss with radar looks, because he couldn't get it. And so he exchanged the unit for a new one, so I assume he can now do that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, County Council Community Projects, John Denby, we were going to make a request to him. Uh, yes, well, we, uh, what we've done. <laughs> Frankly, um, he has got to be the most elusive man I've ever come across. I actually went and spoke to his wife a couple of nights ago. I said, can you get John to ring me? I still have anything. Um, and I just don't know where to go with the man, to be honest, because he just never responds to anything I said. Tell him you're going to sell your house. <laughs> so all I said to him, I just want clarification on the community grants. You know, yeah. you know time scales, you know, when there's cut off time, nothing. Um, so I just don't know what to do really. I will try him again tomorrow evening. I'll give him another 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 shout tomorrow evening and see if he's there. He's always a council meeting every night, it appears. Um, but uh, that's what his wife says anyway. Scribe that from the record. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know is the answer. I uh, can't, can't okay. fill in any more on that. All right. Um, uh, Richard Young. In Richard Young is our internal water. So Richard's been our internal water now for about three or four years. Happy to continue to do it uh, if we're happy for him to do so. Um, so, so we, we need to have a resolution now because the internal external will require it. Do you, so, do you want us to pass a resolution yes, that we appoint Richard again? Exactly. Bob, you're happy to propose that. I mean, Richard is is a highly experienced clerk, mm -hmm. as, as well as having uh, mm -hmm. been in local government for a long time. He knows what he's doing. I'm happy to propose it. Second, David. All yeah. those in favour? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Crooked Lane, I can't give you an update. Uh, I, I didn't like to um, press Chris East, but I will do next week. I'll ask him where he is with getting the gate down from, um, I forget where it was now, from the Midlands somewhere. Mm -hmm. But uh, we've certainly ordered it and we're waiting for it to be delivered. So we'll put that down as a, a me, if you like. Um, that's it. Um, uh, matters of report then. John? Richard? Richard? Yes, this beacon on the 21st of April. Oh, yes. I'll be as a council of one coming in the ring of beacons around the country. But I, don't know, I think um, Clark has the paperwork about who you contact. Because I think I'm just recording what, because we had a bit of a malarkey on this last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember. Uh, I'm just trying to think what happened. It was okay, the, the publication of who was doing it, everything else, it was just that when, once we decided to go up at the top, we had to get past Jed. Yeah, so we were in late butterflies or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, I know we had a quite a lot of debate with the National Trust, actually, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. And I think it's then that we need to approach in the first instance. Yeah, but we don't want a bonfire, we just want to, oh, it was terrible, like, oh, yeah. 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 So we're just talking about a beacon, basically. A beacon, that's it, yeah. It's just enough to hold a straw, straw we'll talk to the National Trust. will be supplied by uh, yeah. uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll talk to the National Trust and see if I can get some idea of that. Well, I don't know if we should talk with his friend and ask them permission, because the top of all is in his friend. 
I think in terms of business, as long as we've got the national trusts, no, it's yeah. their land. Yeah. 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 it happens to be in the other parish, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 I'll contact national trust. Are we as a... I'm quite happy to do it, but I think the blessing of the council would be fine. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, no. Oh, um, yes, just one point. Um, a reference East Ride, and you discussed it, I think, last last um, last meeting, didn't you? And we we, we did sit in on it. Well, I've had a letter from them, you know, regarding this problem with dogs. A letter from the um, environmental. What is she done? That one. That's it. Yeah, that's right, from the environmental officer, um, saying that uh, that the parish council had um, been in touch with them and that they were sending me a letter because I was one of the people who, who originally spoke to them and just informing me that uh, that they were the same procedures I know anyway about recording dogs, barking, etc., etc. Mm. And um, just to let me know that that, um, that was the situation. And I expect they've written to... Did they write to you, John? Yeah. What, what, what have we got here? We just, this is a letter. And this, this is, is really, I'm just saying, this, this is, this is, is a result of what your discussion at the last meeting <coughs> and the letter that was sent, and I, I received one. Just, you know, just yeah. wait we were, to The council was informed of that, that they were going to send that letter to everybody. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Well, that's just me. There's nothing else I can do. Yeah. 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 Uh, just a couple of little things. Um, the Queen's 90th birthday, in the paper recently, there was a, an idea put forward that the whole country should have a litter cleaner. And we saw that in Oscar. And uh, I was talking to Cynthia the other day, and there's been an inordinate amount of litter recently, whether it's because of the wind or not, I don't know, but I wondered if something could be put in the BKN about it. And the second thing is, I taken down posters off telegraph poles yes. that are at least two months out of date mm -hmm. and people should if they've got a function in the village or wherever the yeah. day after or two days after take the posters down because it's ridiculous they're stuck up there and uh, people just leave them and expect somebody else to put them down to pull it down i mean it's no hardship for me to do yeah, it yeah if you want to draw it again all you have to do is visit the <laughs> that's right yes <laughs> I mean, I pulled one down the other day, it was six weeks old. I wonder if something like that could go into the BK to remind people to do it. Can I add just a sum to that, the, the notice which go off? There was that yellow Labrador which went no. missing mm -hmm. in August. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, I was looking at the posters today, the Knoll is smothered with these things, and it was in August, and these posters are still up there. Whether the dog has been found, I don't know. I think it's in the great kennel in the sky. Mm -hmm. But uh, they don't probably need perfect use. So they've been blue. Yeah, Owen, I'll put some in the Okay, so there's Brian. Thank you. David, Bella, Andrea. A couple of things from me. I refer to the alias, the friendly pharmacist article in the BKN. Question of danger, fox and goose. Um, I feel that we should get the Somerset County Council Highways person to visit us at our meeting and discuss the fox and goose. I think that my feeling is we're never going to get enough money to do anything there, uh, and the statistics don't uh, justify action. But I thought what we could do to show an effort is to see whether we could get some danger uh, uh, signs, some, something to advise people that they are entering a dangerous junction and to beware. Mm -hmm. I know it's only at difficult times in the day, but I think some form of signage may help and be a cheap um, uh, alternative and show that we are doing something about the junction. Because 
it is dangerous, but it's just a thought. Would you want to get involved in something like that? Why not? It's speed, isn't it? A lot of it. Well, we, 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 there's too we, many options uh, yeah. for drivers, aren't there? Yeah. And another, another point is, when you're going to, you come down Brent Street and then go to the Centre of Revolution, um, if you go right out to the line, well, quite frankly, you know, the cars are very, very close to you, they're coming past you, you know, they've got, you've got the line, obviously they've got to stop. Yeah. I always stop a little few no, behind, yeah. actually. But also, when you're coming to turn in, back into Brent Street, there is a narrowing of, you know, they are with the, the, the lines and the little um, red, um, um, green, that size on it, to indicate that you're turning in to go left. Mm -hmm. But it, it's not very obvious when you're coming down. It's not always very obvious, you know, that there actually is an area for you to turn left. I mean, I know it's there. What I'm saying is it's that the, 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 the lineage is that... Um, well, maybe the lines need to be... Yes, yeah, they do. I think it's fairly clear. But somebody that told me in. that they were waiting to go over and somebody had used that as part of the road. Oh, yeah. And were actually yeah. coming yeah. straight yeah. at them. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what okay. I'm saying. It, it is a bit dangerous. Well, I, I just feel that we should... You know, whole thing is... Um, yes. Maybe show be a bit proactive. Mm. Have you bit mentioned more. districts, chairman? Have they? Are there any evidence of fatalities or accidents? Mm, no, not, not enough. Well, yeah. there's. I can show you a letter, letter from Somerset yeah. County Council, which says there are no statistics to, to justify no. revamping the the junction. And I'm, and I'm afraid that's usually the answer with respect that it takes two people to get killed before they do it. Mm. Well, mm. That's why I think we should be seen to be uh, voicing mm. that opinion. Okay, um, my third one, <laughs> sorry, my second <coughs> one, is, I'm, I'm sorry, um, we did discuss at our finance meeting probably the appointment of some form of handyman who would do some of these jobs that require to be done. Um, I'd like to, us all to think about that ready for the next meeting, mm -hmm. i.e. helping Richard, because we can't rely upon Richard all the time, sure. who goes and replaces, and it's an ideal mm -hmm. job for someone to go and get it from him, and stick it up. It, it's, it's not a difficult job, but I think it just takes the strain off Richard, and shows that we're mindful of the efforts he does. Um, the other one is uh, Rosemary, who came to see us. Um, I don't know whether we're for supporting her, or probably we should put it on the agenda next time, just to discuss whether we're going to support her. If we are, are we going to support her with manpower? Are we going to support her financially? We don't know what, what her plans are, but hopefully she will come to us uh, next time with her plans. Well, also, Colin, I've, I've suggested to her that she comes to our next parish hall meeting where obviously the, most of the members of the faith committee will be there as yeah. well in terms of the, she was concerned about whether the Saturday or the, if it's on the same day as the faith, whether it was a problem. Yeah. But hopefully that's next Monday, so okay. she can have a, she's going to brief the, the whole committee there as well. Okay. Going back to the fact that you're going to see uh, the Reverend uh, Lewis mm. and meet him regarding the, the fate of the church. How does he believe he's going to get the three parishes to work together? At the well, that's what we're going to hear on Saturday. <laughs> I think that's the problem. And, and the interesting <laughs> thing was the comment of Rosemary tonight. So that's exactly what we're going to find out. Right. How they're going to work together. Yeah. And, what, and we may well have to, as a, as a, as a, as a um, parish council or, or other bodies, start to think about alternative uses yeah. for that building. And again, the needs of my trousers are reinforced. And I'll be down on them for a long time. <laughs> okay, so th those are mine. I'm so sorry to, um, uh, if we, so if we could put yeah, those all those down. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, quite past nine. Not Thank you. Time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.